Yashar, Jasher 47. And Yitzhak, the son of Avraham, was still living in those days in the land of Canaan. And he was, rather, he was very aged, 180 years old. And Esau, his son, the brother of Yaakov, was in the land of Edom. And he and his sons had possessions in it amongst the children of Seir. And Esau heard that his father's time was drawing nigh to die. And he and his sons and household came unto the land of Canaan, unto his father's house. And Yaakov and his sons went forth from the place where they dwelt in Hebron. And they all came to their father, Yitzhak, and they found Esau and his sons in the tent. And Yaakov and his sons sat before his father, Yitzhak, and Yaakov was still mourning for his son, Yosef. And Yitzhak said unto Yaakov, Bring me hither your sons, and I will bless them. And Yaakov brought his eleven children before his father, Yitzhak. And Yitzhak placed his hands upon all the sons of Yaakov, and he took hold of them, and embraced them, and kissed them one by one. And Yitzhak blessed them on that day, and he said unto them, May the Elohim of your fathers bless you and increase your seed like the stars of heaven for number. And Yitzhak also blessed the sons of Esau, saying, May Elohim cause you to be a dread and a terror to all that will behold you and to all your enemies. And Yitzhak called Yaakov and his sons, and they all came and sat before Yitzhak. And Yitzhak said unto Yaakov, Yahuwah Elohim of the whole earth said unto me, Unto your seed will I give this land for an inheritance, if your children guard my statutes and my ways. And I will perform unto them the oath which I swore unto your father, Avraham. Now therefore, my son, teach your children and your children's children to fear Yahuwah and to go in the good way which will please Yahuwah Eloheka. For if you guard the ways of Yahuwah and his statutes, Yahuwah will also guard unto you his covenant with Avraham and will do well with you and your seed all the days. And when Yitzhak had finished commanding Yaakov and his children, he gave up his ruach and died and was gathered unto his people. And Yaakov and Esau fell upon the face of their father Yitzhak and they wept. And Yitzhak was 180 years old when he died in the land of Canaan in Hebron. And his sons carried him to the cave of Machpelah, which Avraham had bought from the children of Chet for a possession of a burial place. And all the kings of the land of Canaan went with Yaakov and Esau to bury Yitzhak. And all the kings of Canaan showed Yitzhak great honor at his death. And the sons of Yaakov and the sons of Esau went barefooted round about, walking and lamenting until they reached Kiryat Arba. And Yaakov and Esau buried their father Yitzhak in the cave of Machpelah, which is in Kiryat Arba in Hebron. And they buried him with very great honor, as at the funeral of kings. And Yaakov and his sons, and Esau and his sons, 
and all the kings of Canaan made a great and heavy mourning, and they buried him and mourned for him many days. And at the death of Yitzchak, he left his cattle and his possessions and all belonging to him to his sons. And Esau said unto Yaakov, Behold, I pray you, all that our father has left, we will divide it in two parts, and I will have the choice. And Yaakov said, We will do so. And Yaakov took all that Yitzchak had left in the land of Canaan, the cattle and the property, and he placed them in two parts before Esau and his sons. And he said unto Esau, Behold, all this is before you. Choose you unto yourself the half which you will take. And Yaakov said unto Esau, Hear you, I pray you, what I will speak unto you, saying, Yahuwah, Elohim of heaven and earth, spoke unto our fathers, Avraham and Yitzchak, saying, Unto your seed will I give this land for an inheritance forever. Now, therefore, all that our father has left is before you. And behold, all the land is before you. Choose you from them what you desire. If you desire the whole land, take it for you and your children forever, and I will take this riches. And if you desire the riches, take it unto you, and I will take this land for me and for my children to inherit it forever. And Nevayot, the son of Yishmael, was then in the land with his children, and Esau went on that day and consulted with him, saying, Thus has Yaakov spoken unto me, and thus has he answered me. Now give your advice, and we will hear. And Nevayot said, What is this that Yaakov has spoken unto you? Behold, all the children of Canaan are dwelling securely in their land. And Yaakov says he will inherit it with his seed all the days. Go now, therefore, and take all your father's riches, and leave Yaakov your brother in the land, as he has spoken. And Esau rose up and returned to Yaakov, and did all that Nevayot the son of Yishmael had advised. And Esau took all the riches that Yitzchak had left, the souls, the beasts, the cattle, and the property, and all the riches. He gave nothing to his brother Yaakov, and Yaakov took all the land of Canaan. From the brook of Mitzrayim unto the river Parat, and he took it for an everlasting possession, and for his children, and for his seed after him forever. Yaakov also took from his brother Esau the cave of Machpelah, which is in Hebron, which Avraham had bought from Ephron for a possession of a burial place for him and his seed forever. And Yaakov wrote all these things in the Sefer of Purchase, and he signed it, and he testified all this with four faithful witnesses. And these are the words which Yaakov wrote in the Sefer, saying, The land of Canaan and all the cities of the Chetim, the Chavim, the Yerusim, the Emorim, the Perizim, and the Gershim, all the seven nations from the river of Mitzrayim unto the river Parat. And the city of Hebron, Kiryat Arba. And the cave which is in it. The whole did Yaakov buy from his brother Esau for value, for a possession, and for an inheritance for his seed after him forever. 
And Yaakov took the safer of purchase and the signature, the command and the statutes, and the revealed safer, and he placed them in an earthen vessel in order that they should remain for a long time. And he delivered them into the hands of his children. Esau took all that his father had left him after his death from his brother, Yaakov, and he took all the property from man and beast, camel and ass, ox and lamb, silver and gold, stones and bedlam, and all the riches which, he had, which had belonged to Yitzhak, the son of Avraham. There was nothing left which, Esha, which Esau did not take unto himself from all that Yitzhak had left after his death. And Esau took all this, and he and his children went home to the land of Seir, the Kori, away from his brother Yaakov and his children. And Esau had possessions among the children of Seir, and Esau returned not to the land of Canaan from that day forward. And the whole land of Canaan became an inheritance to the children of Yasharael for an everlasting inheritance. And Esau, with all his children, inherited the mountain of Seir.